how do you feel about the the influence that that art has on people? Well, it's very powerful, you know. Uh, it's the reason why I was so charged up uh, as a martial artist, as an actor. I was a fan of a lot of actors, a lot of martial artists, and uh, you know, most of them you see in film or TV or music, because it's a, it's a, it's a. Um, you know the whole realm of all that. It's it's very uh, inspirational. What's your advice to young people, creators in general, who maybe haven't heard their voice yet? Yeah. Well, you know everybody's got insecurities. Everybody does. You know, and after a while, you got to get over it. You know, um, there's no magic bullet. You know, there's no magic bullet. You just have to. Uh, you hear you hear a voice tell you you're not worth anything, you know? I mean, if you're out there doing things that are bad and, you know, and, uh, you know, demeaning yourself and other people, well, you shouldn't expect great things to happen for you. But if you're out there working hard, doing the things that you know you're supposed to do, then you shouldn't have any insecurities. You just have to stay focused because all your dreams will come true, you know? Well, uh, I used to think that um, I didn't really belong, you know. I didn't. I used to look at, uh, you know, whether it be, um, you know, agents and producers and and uh, very wealthy people, and I used to say, well, I, how, you know, how do I fit into that? But I realized I belong anywhere I go, you know, and that was. That was the thing for me, is I knew wherever I walk, I belong. 